Florence today in Tuscany and behind me is the Duomo, the main church uh, of Florence. It's called uh, Santa Maria de, del Fiori, Fiore, which means um, the Holy Virgin of the Flowers. Uh, that back there you can see on top is the dome, the cupola by Brunelleschi from the 1400s. But right now I'm about to climb the 400 and some odd steps of this bell tower. It's the Campanile. Uh, it's uh, referred to oftentimes as Giotto's bell tower because it was begun by Giotto, but he only worked on it for a few years uh, before he died. So it begun in the 1330s and it was finally finished like two architects later in uh, 1359. And that was after the great Black Death, the plague that swept through Europe and it was especially uh, devastating here in Florence. It wiped out half the population. Um, so this bell tower is adjacent to the Duomo, the church, and uh, makes up one of the components. There are, um, there's also the baptistry that's in the front um, that is part of the, the complex of buildings belonging to this most uh, impressive of churches. Uh, behind me and you can just kind of see the um, the decoration it's three different types of marble they're three uh, local marble so local to Tuscany uh, the white marble from Carrara the green marble from Prato and the pink marble from Siena so over 400 steps to get to the top no elevator it's all walking but fabulous views at the top which I'll be getting some uh, footage of there so wish me luck so we're inside Giotto's Bell Tower now, going up the steps. There are 414 of them, so it's going to be a while till we get to the top. Stairs are getting narrower and narrower as we go and winding around this column here. Definitely tiring, yeah, but the work. views are worth it. At each of the previous levels, we'll see at the way top what it looks like. Very narrow here, so not for claustrophobic people. Up, like, we made it 414 steps, and the view is <laughs> nothing short of spectacular. Santa Croce. There is the Bargello. You can just see the Piazza della Signoria and the Palazzo Vecchio. The other side of the Arno River, the Oltrarno. The heart of the medieval city down there. And of course, Brunelleschi's dome. It's a little bit higher than us. We'll be going up there later today. On the other side of Florence, you got San Lorenzo, the Medici family church down there. The market, that's the central market, the Mercato Centrale, where the San Lorenzo flea market is all around. The train station in the distance there. And you can see the spire of Santa Maria Novella Church and the facade, it's the only original 1200s facade yeah. here in Florence. On this side we can see the Piazza della Repubblica. We can see Santo Spirito in the background there. And the Pitti Palace. The Boboli Gardens behind it. 
And then over here we've got the Palazzo Vecchio, the Palazzo della Signoria also called, the Uffizi behind it. This straight road down here is the Via dei Calzaiuoli. And the rooftops of Florence. And this is going down. Much easier than coming up. The first level is this wide. The first level at the top, very, very narrow. And then it opens up as you go down. 